So today guys, uh, on the Cowbridge Kitchen we are going to make a pasta carbonara. Yeah, we've got um, some tagliatelle here, uh, which we're going to use for the pasta. We have some ham here, which we are going to uh, use for the meat, and then some other ingredients in to make up the sauce. So, first things first, over at the stove we've got a pan of hot water on here, and um, coming to the boil. What we need to do is get our tagliatelle in there, and then we'll do the rest of the ingredients. So, uh, while the pasta's cooking um, in the pan, now we're going to need some ingredients to make up the carbonara. Okay, so what we're going to use, we're going to need an onion, one uh, brown onion. Um, you're going to want some garlic. I'm going to use lazy garlic, just because it's easier. If you want to use fresh garlic, feel free, smash up a clove of that and use that, but lazy garlic for me. Um, some mushrooms, um, we're going to slice them up. And some uh, fresh ham, because we're going to get that sliced up and then we can get the, um, get the carbonara on the go. Okay, so we'll start off, we'll chomp up our onion. Now, so we'll just peel this onion and then we'll just uh, dice it up in the usual way. And then once we've done the onion, we'll do the mushrooms and the ham. So there we are, once our onions are all finely diced, and because I'm using lazy garlic, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of lazy garlic into those onions. Mix that in and have a little splash of rapeseed oil or olive oil if you like. There we are. Set them aside over by the over by the stove ready to start the carbonara. Uh, next we want to chop up our mushrooms. Okay, we're just all we're gonna do, we're just gonna um slice them like so. Um I'll chop up, I don't know, a dozen of them, maybe ten. 10 to 12 of them, like that. Uh, and next, then we're going to chop up our ham, okay? So we've just got some um, crumbed ham here. So we're going to take, I don't know, three slices of that out of there, hopping down. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to roll this into a cylinder. There we are, so he's like that. I'm going to get my knife and I'm just going to cut it into strips. There we go. Job done, into a container, and there's our meat. There's our meat for our carbonara, and that can go over there with the other ingredients. So, uh, over at the stove here, our pasta um, tagatelli has been boiling and simmering away now for about three or four minutes, five minutes maybe, and it's gone nice and soft, so it's time to get it off, okay? Um, and just remember, with this stuff, what I've done, they come in nests, okay? Um, and I've gone three to four nests per portion. Um, so I just used three nests of this stuff, okay? So we'll get this off, get it over into a colander. There we are, so your pan straight into a colander, drain all that excess water off. Give that a bit of a shake. And what we don't want to happen here now is that we don't want this stuff um, sticking together. So a nice little trick, get some olive oil and just drizzle that over the pasta while it's in the colander. Shake that up. And that should keep that all nice and free from sticking together. You can pop that back on top of the saucepan and leave that there until our carbonara is ready. So over at the stove, while our um, pasta's draining off there, and um, we've got our ingredients that we did earlier. Okay, our onions and garlic, our mushrooms, our ham. We're going to want a few other ingredients now to make up the sauce. Okay, um, we're going to need some English mustard. We're going to want some um, white wine, um, just a fresh and fruity white wine. I'm using. We want 50 millilitres of that, 50 to 100, depending, uh, you know, on, on on the sort of consistency that you want your carbonara. But I'm going to use 50 50 mils of that. Um, and then we're going to want some single cream, uh, just a basic single cream. Um, it's probably about 100 mils, 100 to 150 mils of this, depending again on how much you want and your consistencies. Okay, so I'll use 100. Right, we'll get some butter in our pan, and we'll get this cooking nice and quick. So into the pan, um, we want a nice chunk of butter, just a generous amount, okay? Probably about, I don't know, 25 grams or so. Get that melted in the pan nice and quickly. There we are. So while that butter's melting away now, <clears throat> what we'll do is we're going to add our onions, garlic and um, oil. That can all go into there and get that cooking away. We 
we are. Let that cook for a few minutes now until those onions are nice and soft. There we are. So into that mix now we're going to throw our mushrooms and get them bad boys into there and get them cooking. There we are. We'll leave them cook now for a few minutes. There they are. So they've been cooking now for about two minutes all in all, two or three minutes. What we're going to do now is take our 50 mils of white wine Watch this now because this will flambe a little bit. It sometimes does, sometimes doesn't. Probably will. It means it's going to go up in flames. Now, there we are. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. Okay, so we've got our 50 mils of wine in there now. Let that melt off and that's smelling pretty, pretty delicious. So at this stage, um, what we need to do now is we're going to add our mustards. Okay, we're going to use one. Um, teaspoon of mustard all right for, for one portion so a good generous teaspoon of mustard in there get the whole lot in there there we are we'll get that mustard mixed in there as well and now one teaspoon of english mustard mixed on top of that then what you can do at that stage throw your ham in as much ham as you like get it all mixed in there Nice big pile of ham. And then finally, we'll add our cream to that. Okay, so like I said, about 100 mils of cream. The more cream you add, the thinner it's going to be, okay? So we're going to go with 100 mils of cream into there. Turn the heat down and let that cook. Mix it all in. Wow, looking, smelling pretty beautiful. Leave that cook on a medium heat now for a, a minute or two. There we are, so our sauce there has been mixed, um, cooking now rather, for about three or four minutes, okay? Time, we've got our pasta um, tag tally now out of the sink, okay? And as you can see, it's all not stuck together, it's lovely and fresh. That straight in to the sauce. All we need to do is get that pasta warm and job done. Pasta carbonara.